welcome back to the channel. We're excited. Look at this. We got the fender on. It's done. <laughs> Ready to go. OEM. No, it no. looks good though. No, but we put this on to get out of the way because we're going to work on this, but our friend didn't get to because he had to work overtime at work. So we're going to start start wiring this thing up and let's see how far we can get. We don't know. So look at this. Come over it's here, a whole guys. mess of wire. We got to figure out all of this wire. So we're going to pull it up here. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna to try to get it going where it's going. Get the starter wired in. Hopefully to alternate, get it run over to the alternator. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. Yep. So let's do it. That's a lot of wires. Oh my Lord, I, I think this goes to light. Maybe. <laughs> what is that? I gotta figure out all this Is this mess. like a temperature the gauge? I think so. Or speedometer? I think speedometer. But, but we got to figure out all these little wires, figure out where they all yeah, go. Yeah, so we're figuring them out, get them wrapped up like OEM, or as close to almost OEM. Yeah. Okay, guys, what do you what do you? What's the best way to start? I mean, we're we're just going to dig into it. Like we what what we need to do is look at how. I think this is the start wire. This is. This goes to the starter. Not that. That's my light. Yeah. But this one. In your hand? Yeah, but how's it tangled up in this? I don't know, but we're gonna have to <laughs> take a minute and try to get it untangled. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna untangle this. We might set up a a tripod. Tripod so we can holy smokes. So we can figure this out. Alright guys, well. We gotta figure this we gotta out. Figure this out. So we we found the starter stuff, didn't we? We think. Yeah, right here. This big wire. I know it goes to the hot. So what we have to do is figure out why it's angled the way it is. I mean, I guess someone unhooked it and just threw everything. Well, I got the headlight on. All right, did you? All right, there it is. Hold up. That wasn't that bad. Is that that's the headlight, right? I, I wonder which headlight. Alright. The other side, I think. The other side? Yeah. Alright. It'll come up front and then go over, would it? I think so. Like this. And then go over here. Maybe. I'm thinking. Because this one will go here. That's this. Okay. That's this headlight. Now it's yeah. this, that headlight. Okay. So if we had a zip tie, we can just. Or lay it across there. I'll just lay it down. Try not to hurt it too bad. Is this kind of the cool? <laughs> Screws on. I know this is on the alternator because I was looking at this Chevy alternators that we have over here, these old ones, that we're going to use just to get this thing started. And um, because we might not, should we get it from one? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I mean, we're thinking about it. I mean, we have two good alternators sitting here. It just depends if we want to pay for the looks. Yeah, I mean, that's all we're doing is paying for looks. I just don't know how I want to do this yet. Because look, this. I like to untwine all this. And let's get some tape and write what that is. At least we know it will not come off. I'm gonna put it down here because I wanna kinda get these in there. The way this is tangled, I don't know. I know, you gotta untwist it like. It's not fun, is it? Well, at least we got the headlights already dealt with. Guys, we know this right here is like watching paint dry. <laughs> so we're gonna try to fast forward through a lot of it. Yeah, we'll speed it up, whatever, if it gets boring, if when we watch it to edit. What will we call this? What is it? What is this? Here, you do the right, alternator. 
alternator. So that's all alternator. Someone put tape on it, but it says, I don't even think it says anything, does it? It's rubbed off. It's rubbed off, because, uh... It's probably been a while. Yeah. Time consuming. It's time consuming. It's looking good though. Yeah, we're trying to get it look good. And neat. So that's for the alternator and starter. Alternator and starter. So it's, we're getting it all together. Show them how we're going to route it, Hunter. We're going to route it through these little clips right here all the way over there. Yeah, then we'll split it apart and then wrap it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a lot of work here, but. But uh, it's going to look good at the it'll end. It'll look good. And, and guys, if you have a Nova Tour apart, one thing cool about this is. It was pretty easy to figure this one out. Well, I mean, it's an older car, so the wiring isn't as it's complicated as a newer car. Yeah, and a, a new car. I don't think I don't know if we we'd figure it out. So It'd just take you'd have to read a lot we'd of have forums. Have to go on a Google machine and yeah, look it up. So we're gonna get back to work. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we got all this right here all hooked back up wonder we're, if that's a ground wire maybe but we, we, tell them the dilemma we ran we ran the, into the uh the dilemma we're trying to get is we had this wire here because this was a, a straight this was a six was it a straight six or six straight seven? six this was a straight six car so we're, we put a, a v8 in it so i mean you know, it's more narrow. So the starter was closer. The starter was closer. So we might have to add on to these wires. Starter wires. Which, which is no big deal. No big deal. We have this stuff. I don't know if we have that gauge wire, but. Oh, yeah, we do. Do we? Mm hmm. Okay. We have the stuff we bought to do it. Then, so this stuff, I don't know what that one is yet. I don't know what this one is. These we haven't figured out those yet because we haven't looked at them. But it goes to something. This right here, I guarantee you goes to a hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to assume that. But I think this is for the heat and air. So I don't know how much more we're going to be able to wire because we need everything in. Yeah, because we're going to... So gonna, we might go on to something else in a minute. Yeah, so we're going to... Uh, well, we got it figured out. Yeah. That's a plus. And we got the windshield wipers hooked up. We just don't have any windshield wipers. Yeah, well, they're over there. Are they? Yeah. Oh, well, we got windshield wipers. So, um, when we get the battery and all that in, we might have some windshield wipers. Yeah, we got to replace that glass later, too. <laughs> yeah, but that'd be a later date. But what, we're, what we need for this car is this uh, <laughs> cow. This cow right here. We I think that's what it's called. I thought, yeah. I don't Front know. vent cow, I don't know. Yeah. So, guys, I mean, I don't know much about these cars. So, what, if you have any what information. What is this? What is it? I, I don't know. Zoom in there. Let me, let me take your camera there. What what is what is this? Does that have to go with the windshield wipers? Is that where it shoots out fluid? I don't know if they do that. But. I don't know. I mean, I don't know when the, what year they done that. Do you? No, I don't know. All right. Well, um, we might put the. You might clean the carburetor. We might clean the carburetor. Not put it on yet Not because on yet we want to get all the wiring done before we put it on. Yeah, because I don't think that carburetor has any wires. It ain't like an electric choke or nothing. No. It? It's just manual choke? I think so. Okay, yeah. So it's a, what is it? A Holly? Holly. Performance? Something? Holly Performance. I don't know which I one. Don't know. But it's over there. It's a double pump, you know. So that we got the fuel pump. So we'll, we'll, we'll get, we're going to start getting all this together. First, we know we don't have a gas tank, so we're going to have to order a fuel cell. Yes. And, um, because that gas tank was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're going to get the fuel cell, but we'll 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 jump out of a jug from right here. But right. I feel good we have some of this figured out. Yeah, we basically got it all figured all out. On this right side, we got most of it figured out. And then we know all this, all this where it goes. We got the windshield wipers hooked up. We got the headlights. We just got to figure out those few wires that are dangling over there. But I mean, we're getting somewhere. Hey, we're getting somewhere. So let's get to something else. 
All right, guys, I want you to check this out. I had this from doing metal roofs. Shout out to them. And uh, so we're going to try it on this car and see, because we're the dust is unbearable almost. Yeah. Cutting with the stuff. grinder. So, so we're going to try it out here, guys. You're going to be right first with us here, and we will try it and see how it does. <laughs> That is awesome. That cuts, you'll be able to cut very straight with that. And zero dust. No dust whatsoever. Look at that. That had a lot of bondo on it. I know it kept chipping off and hitting me when you was cutting it. Isn't it pretty cool though? So we're gonna start cutting on this thing. Sweet. It's so much quicker than a grinder. I mean, it's quicker, and it, it only thing about it is this thing keeps working itself loose. Well, that is an old but, drill. Yeah. If we bring our electric one and tighten it down real tight. Yeah, that's what I used to use the electric one. Yeah. But um, let's look in here and see how it is. Look, I can cut, I can cut circles, dude. You know, it's not bad in here. No, I know it's crazy. That's good. Yeah. So we need to get be able to get into the. We got to get inside out so we can get to it to put the yeah those uh, clips on. But guys, look at that. Is that not crazy? Should we should we um, get that one down and cut that piece off to where we're going to do it and mark it? That way we could uh, maybe go ahead and cut I this out. I think maybe we need to get it closer near the line all the way, yeah. all the way down and stuff. Before we Before we it. do that. Okay. Well, let's let's let them see how this thing works. You got to get you got to kind of figure it out and get well, it. Well, you got to you see how that's angled. Look. Right. Let, like let me this. show. Right. You see how that? You gotta put the metal flat against that part that's angled back. Like, like, tell me, honey. Up, go up. Like this? No, up. Like right this? there, yep. There you go. Why didn't we? Why didn't we know this earlier? We should have tried it a while back. Well, yeah, I knew I had it, but I totally We couldn't find it. Couldn't find it, but we found it when we started moving junk out of here. But this is perfect, dude. It's you know, so much quicker. You know, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I know. There's like, really we not. really don't have to go that low. We'll spray that surface rust and stuff. But, yeah, we don't have to. Where do you, where would you like to go? Because, I mean, honestly, that's a little bit of Bondo, and it's just because there's a little dent there. Oh, really? Yeah, because I, I, I can see right back in the back side. Well, that's good. So that's a, and this thing's not too bad. No. Yeah. I mean, they just, look, it starts getting bad right here. And then we'll, we'll cut this out. And bend a piece. And bend some metal to go back in there. And man, this is looking cool. I love this drill and thing. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, uh, that we will bring most definitely, uh, I should be wearing gloves, guys. And probably safety glasses. So we're gonna get back to work. That is so cool, dude. That's a big piece off. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so awesome. See, that's good. Yeah. It is kind of scary looking at this. Uh, it's kind of scary looking at it all gone. I know. But I mean, this thing is a lifesaver. Now down here, we'll have to still grind. Yeah. And stuff like that. But this will be able to cut it. Speeds up. it up a lot. I mean, in no dust. Yeah. That's what I love about it. All right, guys, we're back the next day at the garage. We went by O'Reilly's and we had to buy us a new, um, well, we never had one of these, no. but we bought one. And we bought some of this right here for a buddy because we got this this truck in here, our new classic, and uh, it's not. But I mean, we didn't, we're not filming this because, you know. We're not really doing the work. We're not doing the work, but. Our buddy is, and look what happened here. Look at this. That's what happened. This thing was making, it had a dead short, a dead miss. Is that what it was? Yeah. In it, and that lifter right there just 
Demolish. Got ate up. Demolish. Uh, yeah. We got it tore apart pretty far. Yeah, look, look in here. Come over here. Look here. Let me show them what. This is what my buddy's got done so far. The heads are all, look at that. My little table and underneath just full of everything. But guys, look, we even cut. You didn't see us cut this. Yeah, we cut this. With our can opener. And we think that uh, to finish this, we're just gonna go ahead and use this. Because this thing is so cool because it don't make a mess. And it's quick. And it's quick and you can be really accurate with it, guys. So I recommend this if you ever wanna cut out some sheet metal out of your vehicle. I really recommend this right here, guys. So make sure that you like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.